Captain's Log, Stardate 240808. We continue our mission from Banff to Manitoba. Join us as we cross this strange flat landscape in search of cold beer and civilizations. Welcome back, folks. This is a record episode. We are traveling from Banff all the way to Cleveland, Ohio, approximately 3,400 kilometers. As usual, we have some eclectic stops along the way. Our first one you saw there in the intro was Vulcan, Alberta, which happens to share a name with, of course, the famous planet from Star Trek. And so we had to take a swing through here and enjoyed some of the cosplay costumes they had on display, some of the Star Trek memorabilia. So a nice little stop as we started to head east. We also had a few stops to check in with some old neighbors and relatives. Thanks, Lori, for your hospitality in Calgary as we headed through there. A chance to visit with your doggos as well. And thanks to my cousin Tiffany and her partner Holly for coming out for lunch with us. It was great to catch up with the two of you in Regina. We did one of our overnight stops at Cypress Hills Interprovincial Park, which spans a big space in Alberta and Saskatchewan. Really nice little park. We did a very short hike. We didn't have a lot of time, but definitely a place that I'd check out again. Next up, we crossed the border into Manitoba and specifically got to the town of Boisevane, which is famous for a couple of things. First off is Tommy the Turtle, who we always visit when we're in Boisevane. And secondly, this is also the hometown of Holly from the YouTube show Crag and Holly on Wheels. Yep, this is my hometown. Uh, this is a great stop. We, uh, we totally needed to chill out and relax. We were here for a couple of weeks. We spent some quality time with friends and family, got to see everybody, and it was just nice to chill, not do a lot, and not worry about where we were going to stay or what we were going to see or what we were going to get to. And also just kind of hanging out, beautiful weather, and um, kind of just hanging out on the farm with the horses and the cats. Good. We've got a few shots of the farm critters here, some of our other shenanigans. And Holly caught a couple great shots there. The northern lights were out, especially one night. Really nice. We set off from Manitoba to North Dakota. We had to be, we had to move pretty quick. We had a goal of getting to Lake Placid, New York for the September long weekend. So some big drive days, but we did get some stops in. First off, we stopped in Rugby for a little coffee. And this happened to be the geographical center of North America. Then up, we stopped in Fargo named after the famous Coen Brothers movie, Fargo. Now the Coen Brothers films are typically a little bit dark and a little bit twisted. This one features a famous scene with a wood chipper. And this wood chipper is on display front and center at the visitor center when you roll into Fargo. They are very proud of their wood chipper. So as Holly mentioned, a couple big drive days after that, here's a little bit of North Dakota footage for you. Deciding which way to take east of, of Manitoba, we had a couple options. We could go through Canada or we could go through the U.S. We actually decided to go a little further into the U.S. This was a different route that neither of us had taken, and it also took us through Cleveland, Ohio. This was a big hit for Craig and I because we really wanted to see the Rock and Roll Music Hall of Fame in Cleveland, Ohio. So we spent, I think, a solid five hours here going through the exhibits. They had everything from the Beatles to Run DMC, of course, some more Elvis, a lot of great stories of rock and roll, a lot of great artifacts, of course, a gazillion guitars. So really worth taking this route as we headed east. I was really glad to finally check this one off my list. I'd wanted to get here for quite a few years. 
Now, we haven't asked you a question in a few episodes at least, so here's an easy question to ask. I'm curious if it's easy for you to answer. It's a simple one. Who's your favorite rock and roll artist? I'll go first. I would say ACDC is my favorite rock and roll group. They were inducted to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2003. Holly, thoughts? Oh, no question. Mullet Rock. <laughs> Not yet inducted into the Hall of Fame, but stay tuned. Maybe someday. If, if you're not familiar, this is the basement rock and roll band that I have with my friends. We are a ways from being inducted, but one can still dream. And now time for the stats and facts. Tommy the Turtle he is 28 feet tall and 55 years old. He was unveiled in 1969. Fargo movie facts. Francis McDermott won the 1997 Academy Award for Best Actress. And a Rock and Roll Hall of Fame fact, this opened in 1997, and they see more than half a million visitors each year. And one final U.S. state park for you. We snuck in one more when we stopped at the Indiana Dunes National Park. It just happened to be on the way. This is a small park, not a whole lot to see, but it was a warm day and really nice to just jump in the water and cool off for a few minutes. That brings us to 19. U.S. National Parks. All right, it's about time to wrap this one up. Thanks for riding with us once again. I know this was a whirlwind. We covered 3,400 kilometers in this one. I did the math. That actually is about 25,000 kilometers an hour. If this is a typical seven or eight minute YouTube episode that we did, I should have warned you to take some gravel. I hope you're okay. I hope it doesn't discourage you from tuning in to our last two episodes. Holly, it's the home stretch. Where are we stopping next? Next up is Wilmington, New York where we attend an annual mountain bike festival that we have often attended, and it's super fun. We also get to see some of our Ottawa friends and friends from New York as well. And finally, it is the last chance for Craig to fall off his bike. So stay tuned and see what happens.